Capricorn, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you that are brand new, welcome to our channel. I appreciate you all so very much and I hope you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and get into it. So this time, Capricorn, cross watchers, of course you're welcome here. We couldn't do this without you. I'm going to use my vintage deck. These are 50 years old. Yeah, 50 years old. I have a couple of decks. I always go for the vintage ones, so I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a while since I've done your reading. I've been very swamped with personal reading. So let's get started. For those of you that haven't yet, please subscribe. It's absolutely free to do so. Like this video. That's the thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It allows this reading to circulate and others to hear important messages. Whether you're a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or whether you're dealing with a Capricorn, it definitely helps our channel to grow and others hear these important messages. So if it resonates for you, definitely let's share the messages, okay, and help lift each other up. It's definitely helpful for those of you that are interested for subscribing, liking this video, and hitting that notification bell qualifies you to get in on the bracelet stone giveaway. I also ask that you like the Facebook page or Instagram so that we can notify you if you're one of the lucky winners. I give away three each month, my daughters and I. Let's get started. For all of that information, you can check down below in the description or the comment area. Everything you could want is down there, including the continuation of the reading on Vimeo here. If it resonates, you may want to check it out. I dig a lot deeper, but we will get into that in a little bit, okay? What is going on for Capricorn, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, this can play from your perspective, Capricorn, or your perspective, Cross Watcher. It can be the energy of someone around you, or Capricorn around you. It can be anybody. It can be a family member, a friend, a love interest, a child. It can be anybody that's affecting your your uh, energy. You're all going to be different, okay? So remember that. I've had a lot of clients come to me now and say that things are starting to happen for them. So there's massive changes going on. So if nothing's happened for you yet, please don't be discouraged. And for those of you things have happened for, leave comments down below to help encourage others. It really does help when they hear that you're doing well or you've heard from your person or the job you've been waiting for has come through or the move you've been wanting is happening, something. You know, encouraging messages help us all. So please feel free to share down below in the comment section. What is going on for Capricorn, please? Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2020. What are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2020? Two of Wands. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, but this is about looking forward to the future, about making plans, okay? Or there's a decision or choice that you're trying to make between two things two people, two directions, whatever the case, two jobs. Uh, let's clarify the two of wands here, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for the two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? Wow. Ooh, interesting. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So there could be some travel arrangements you're making. Uh, and you're waiting for some news regarding some money or you're wanting to make an offer towards somebody and offers come in towards you or you want to give an offer and there's celebration here could be a possible reunion uh, you're wanting to celebrate something and it's like you're making plans for the future you've made a choice or a decision uh, it could be that you are waiting for some news this could be you standing there like waiting for an offer something grounded stable you could be waiting to reunite with somebody or somebody's wanting to reunite with you there's some kind of celebration here perhaps it's also about parties and get togethers you could be you know making travel arrangements here for the future um, and you are waiting for some news regarding money in order to travel or to celebrate or to reunite with somebody somebody could be at a distance from you thinking about you or vice versa here wow let's dig Let's do it. <laughs> Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please, for Capricorn? Ooh, wow, Page of Cups. This is about message of love. This can be a gift, an offer, um, a messenger clarifying a messenger. So somebody definitely may want to come in towards you and offer you a gift or an apology. Uh, have, you know, a commitment with you that's stable and grounded and long term. But it can just be like, let's move in together. Let's celebrate. Um, or I've received an offer. Uh, it can be that you're, you're celebrating. Maybe you just got a mortgage on a home. You bought a new home. Um, 
and maybe somebody wants to move in together with you. It could be any one of those things. It's like, let's celebrate. I see celebration here, happiness, um, messages coming in for you. It's about looking toward the future and making plans to either move in together or reunite or celebrate an accomplishment here of some sort. You could be receiving a gift. Wow. Clarify the Three of Cups. What's celebration about or reuniting? Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the Five of Wands. There could have been some conflict here, um, some disagreements over a reunion or a celebration. Interesting. Let's figure this out. I've got here Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I have here Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So water, fire, and earth. Clarify the Five of Wands. There may have been competition over... Um, Somebody making plans for the future or traveling or, let's see here. We've got the Queen of Swords. Could be a, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Maybe there was an argument or a disagreement over. Now, sometimes a Queen of Swords can be a divorcee. Female, male, it doesn't matter. Maybe there was some disagreements. Somebody got cut out, perhaps. There's been some arguments. Now that can be family, friends, some kind of drama. But this can also represent competition. Wow, we got to dig. Somebody could be fighting or arguing over somebody who's not showing an emotion or has cut somebody out of the picture or um, let somebody go or is... Hmm. Who is this Queen of Swords, please, for Capricorn? Why is this Queen of Swords? Somebody's fighting. Somebody's taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords. They're in an argument, a fight, disagreements with family or friends over plans being made, perhaps, for the future. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, somebody wants to walk away from a, a, a situation or a family or a love situation where there's no emotional fulfillment. They're unhappy. Yeah, it's like there's some kind of drama over somebody walking away from a Queen of Swords or somebody taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords. We're going to have to dig deeper. Let's get the mutual energies between you and whoever is on your mind, Capricorn. It can be a love interest. Apparently, there is some kind of disagreements going on here with family or friends or love interest. Um, they were making plans for the future here. You may have received some news, messages. Um, and it's created some kind of chaos here for you or whoever you're dealing with. Let's keep going here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the mutual energies between Capricorn and whoever is on their mind, please, Spirit? What are the messages between Capricorn and whoever is on their mind? What are the messages? What do they need to know? For their highest good, please, spirits for July. Now, in the extended, I will focus on digging a lot deeper using my other vintage deck. I'm going to use the Enchanted Tarot. I've had these since, well, I was 13 years old. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's been a while. <laughs> and I'm also going to pull the traditional as well, some tarot, traditional tarot. I'm also going to get the Psychic Tarot as well. We're going to get any guidance and advice messages from the universe. And for those of you that feel you're on a twin flame journey, I'm going to pull the Twin Flame Oracle. We're going to do pick a card in the extended as well as we are going to pull some beautiful tarot sexual magic so we can see how your person is feeling about you intimately or vice versa this can also just be your energy as well there could be some useful messages there for you we are going to dig in the extended a lot deeper so for those of you that haven't checked that out before you may wish to if this resonates for you it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading but if this is resonating for you that may be all you wish to do what are the mutual energies please between capricorn and who have ever on their mind what do they need to know for their highest good for july 2020 what are the messages what are the messages and like i said i think i said i'm going to sneak peek into august over there as well passion offer okay so you know this can be that you have an offer of passion coming in towards you um, this can also represent that somebody is just very excited for the future. There's some kind of celebration here. Somebody's kind of like, they're making a decision perhaps to travel and um, either send a message out of love and commitment or wanting to take further action here. 
in a relationship, I feel, or in purchasing something, an apology, messages of love here, but it's created some kind of chaos. But I feel like somebody is very driven toward the future here. They're, they're taking action. See, love decision. So somebody has made a choice or a decision in their life, I feel here, to make plans. And it's, it's definitely causing some kind of conflict here. Somebody has walked away from what is no longer serving them. This can be family, friends, um, anybody that is not in your highest good is being cut out. You or your person here, whoever's on your mind. And it's a decision or a choice that had to be made here. But this does mean that this is the lover's card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and I've got air energy as well here. There could be strong Gemini in somebody's chart. But again, it doesn't have to be. This is about a choice or decision that has to be made. And it's being guided by the universe because the lover's card is a spiritually guided card. Um, it can be twin flame energy here too with the lover's card. It's, it's a decision or choice that had to be made between two two and it's being divinely guided here okay somebody is meant to walk away from a situation that was no longer serving them was no longer happy these cups are empty there's no more love there there's no more wish fulfillment there's basically it's the cups of run dry okay what are the mutual energies between capricorn and whomever is on their mind please for july 2020 okay but it's causing a lot of nervous energy somebody's staying awake at night and they're having a lot of nightmares or you know it's just like going through a period of anxiety or depression it's caused a lot of anguish here but this is something that was meant to happen because wherever you or they are has not been fulfilling and look what we've got next the tower card so yeah this is something that maybe you you weren't expecting happened out of the blue and here it is now this hasn't necessarily happened yet this could be in the near future but this is about making a choice or a decision for somebody's highest good where they were or you have been has not been happy. The foundation was no longer working. It wasn't strong. And so it comes tumbling down. Sometimes it can mean that all of a sudden there was an argument ensued or something like that. And, and somebody was very brash and very direct um, and said, I'm walking away. I'm, I'm, there's nothing here for me anymore. Um, that could be you or whoever you're thinking about. It can be somebody in your environment, but this is the lover's card again. This is a spiritually guided decision and it has created, obviously, it's going to, that's normal. But the tower only shows up when somebody has not been making the decision to walk away. Um, and so it kind of, the universe is kind of forcing someone's hand, yours or your person's or both of you, in order to get out of this situation that's no longer emotionally fulfilling for either one of you, okay? This could be you, it could be somebody you're dealing with, you could be having a, a kind of a bird's eye view for somebody else that they're dealing with, if you're interested in somebody. We're gonna dig a lot deeper, we're gonna find out where are we going with this Eight of Cups. We're gonna find out, you know, the tower, we're gonna definitely um, get some more information and clarification on that. I wanna find out about this Five of Wands, about what this chaos is, and we are, we've, got, we've definitely gotta dig. Um, who is this Queen of Swords? So we're going to sneak peek into August. I'm going to pull more of the vintage cards here as well, of course. And we are going to dig. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me for the continuation on Vimeo, let's go ahead and dig into August and get those pick cards out for the Twin Flame Energy Oracle as well as the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I appreciate you all so very much. Stay happy, healthy, safe, and positive. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and the notification bell if you want to get in on the Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway. They are all handmade by myself. I did forget to mention that. Um, so I handpicked all of the genuine stones here. And they're all for your highest good, the properties, okay? Thank you very much. The details are below in the description box and in the comment section. Stay happy, stay well, stay focused, stay safe. Beautiful blessings now and always. Namaste.